Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be on you. Welcome to the Gems from the Quran. Alhamdulillah, still we are at this wonderful gem from the Quran that is Surah Nuh, the chapter of Noah. And we stopped at the ayah number 18, ayah, the verse number 18, where Allah Almighty says, Thumma yu'idukum fiha wa yukhrijukum ikhraja. So, Allah Almighty is saying that you will be die and you will be into uh, going back to the earth and you will be again resurrected from the earth. Then Allah Almighty is saying in ayah number 19, verse number 19, وَاللَّهُ جَعَلَ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضَ بِصَاطًا Which means, and Allah has made for you the earth as expense. He expended you, the earth for you. So this is another sign of Allah Almighty. The earth is simply extended and expanded for you. So you can walk on it easily. You can travel from one place to another place easily. You can just get into your vehicle, any vehicle, either at the previous time it could be a donkey or a horse or a camel or any other uh, form of the, of the transportation. Or in today's time that you are using cars or motorbikes or train or whatsoever, and it's smooth, expanded land that Allah Almighty blessed us with. Simple as that. Then Allah Almighty telling us لِتَسْلُكُوا مِنْهَا سُبُولًا fijaja, That you may follow therein roads of passage. This is exactly what I just told you. Allah Almighty gave us this expanded land so you can just walk and flow there in roads of passages. You have passages, you can just easily move on wherever you want to go. Allah Almighty made your life easy for you. Allah Almighty gave you these stages that we spoke about in the previous episodes. That Allah Almighty created you in these stages from the drop till the leech, until the body of a human being and then become like a baby and coming out from the womb of your mother and this baby is being carried for a year almost and then after a year this baby is still uh, start walking and then after walking the, he, this baby start picking up words and then after picking up words he is able to communicate or talk a little bit and then to communicate and then to go on and on and on. These are all the stages from Allah Almighty. Don't you ponder? Don't you see? And this message for all of us Muslims and non-Muslims. See these things and say Alhamdulillah. Glory be to Allah. There is a creator for everything. There is a Lord. There is a superpower that we have to submit our will to Him. And then Allah Almighty is telling us about that Allah Almighty blessed us with this Al-Arda Bisata. That Allah Almighty made this land completely expense and expended for us. And now it's expended for us what we should do. He said, Li tasluku minha subulan fijaja. So you may flow therein with roads of passages. So all these things Nuh alayhi salam telling his people. And Allah Almighty is telling us here in this ayah. So, all these things, there is hikmah behind it. There is a wisdom behind it. To know and to understand, to know your creator, to submit your will to that creator, and live in peace by submitting your will to Allah Almighty, following the guidance of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and you will be successful in this world and in the hereafter. The time is uh, there for the break. We'll just take a short break and then continue after that, inshallah. Welcome back 
dear viewers. So, as we stopped at ayah number 20, we will continue from ayah number 21. At this moment, after Allah Almighty and His Messenger Nuh talking and giving the reasons and telling, you know, if you repent to Allah, if you follow Allah, if you, if you believe in Allah and the Messenger of Allah, you will be having so, such and such reward. And then after that, Allah Almighty, through His Prophet Nuh, peace be upon him, start giving the reasons of the creation of the skies and the layers as the skies and the sun and the moon and everything and the roads and everything. After that, Nuh said something. That is in ayah number 21. Verse number 21, Nuh says, قَالَ نُوحٌ رَبِّ إِنَّهُمْ عَصَوْنِي وَاتَّبَعُوا مَنْ لَمْ يَزِدْ مَالُهُ وَوَلَدُهُ إِلَّا Khasara, which means Noah said, My Lord, indeed they have disobeyed me and followed him with wealth and children will not increase him except in loss. So now Noah is telling Allah Almighty that this is exactly what happened with him. Qala Noah, Noah said, Rabbi innahum asawni, they disobeyed me. They are not listening to me. They are not even respond, responding and coming back to me with anything. وَاتَّبَعُوا مَنْ لَمْ يَزِدْهُ مَالُهُ وَوَلَدُهُ إِلَّا خسارة. So, they followed him with the wealth and the children that will not increase him except in loss. So whatever they are doing, it is loss. It is complete loss. And that this loss will come to them, will come to their wealth, will come to their children, and everything. As Allah says, وَاتَّبَعُوا مَنْ لَمْ يَزِدْهُ مَالُهُ وَوَلَدُهُ إِلَّا خَسَارًا It will not increase them except loss in their wealth, in their children, and everything. Then Allah Almighty continued, and mentioning about Nuh alayhi salam, what he says. He says, وَمَكَرُوا مَكْرًا كُبَّارًا Not only they are denying Prophet Nuh and they are disobeying and, and, and not listening to him, no. But, وَمَكَرُوا مَكْرًا كُبَّارًا which means, and they conspired in immense conspiracy. Or, they are always, always trying to be among those who are conspired. Immense amount of conspiracy and not listening and disobeying. And this is the way of every disbeliever. This is the way of every hypocrite. And this is the way of every single person who does want to follow the truth. So now what will happen to them? Can you imagine? Allah Almighty says in ayah number 23, وَقَالُوا Now, the disbeliever, they said, they start talking to Nuh alayhi salam. Allah Almighty said about them in ayah number 23, وَقَالُوا لَا تَذَرُنَّ آلِهَتَكُمْ وَلَا تَذَرُنَّ وُدًّا وَلَا سُوَاعًا وَلَا يَغُوثَ وَيَعُوقَ وَنَسْرًا That they said, never leave your gods and never leave Wad or Yasu' or Yaghuth or Ya'uq or Nasr. These are the different five gods that they used to follow and worship, and these are idols, and they, they don't want to leave. They don't want to leave these idols. So this is the respond to Nuh alayhi salam. وَقَالُوا They said, we don't want to leave all these gods that we are worshipping. There are more and more coming, inshaAllah ta'ala, in the upcoming episode. Stay with us until the next episode, or wait for us until the next episode. Until then, take care of yourself. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.